everyone. Um, I wanted to share something with you. Um, I don't think it's going to be anything new. Um, those of you who are walking with the Lord, um, it will probably bear witness with you. Um, I believe that something is getting ready to happen. I pray it's the rapture, right? This moment, if it could be. Um, but that is where we as Christians have to keep our um, hope in um, waiting for that blessed hope, knowing that at any moment the Lord could sound that trumpet and we will be with him forever. Um, until that happens, which again, that could be at any moment, um, I just really feel an urgency um, to get the word out there to repent while a person can. And I have heard from some of you, you are doing the same thing. When you are getting your groceries, when you are fueling your vehicle, you are proclaiming to as many as will listen, um, are they right with Jesus Christ? Do they realize that um, God is winding things down, um, that something is getting ready to happen, and we have to be ready? And to be honest, the only way to be ready is to have be repented, to be right with Jesus Christ. Um, I woke up um, in the middle of the night. Again, um, the Lord sometimes speaks to me like that. Um, in the middle of the night last night with these words, as with Mount Gibeon. And so I was looking up the scriptures about Gibeon. It means hill city. Um, its inhabitants were the Hivites. Hivites. And um, so I turned to Joshua um, chapters 9 and 10. And were was studying, trying to find out. Okay, Lord, what 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 am I supposed to understand from this? Um, and it's very interesting. Read um, Joshua um, chapters nine and ten. But the whole scenario, you're talking um, these deceivers deceived Joshua, um, and they and Joshua went into a, a peace treaty with them. Because Joshua did not seek the Lord. And so that was, I am just putting that in a nutshell. <clears throat> but it should warn us in all things, we need to be acknowledging the Lord, seeking God, doing the will of the Father in our everyday lives. Um, getting the word out there to repent while there is time. Over and over, the word tells us we are not promised tomorrow. Whether it's the rapture today, whether we die during the night, whether we get hit by a car. I mean, you know the scenarios. We are not promised tomorrow. And we need to be ready now. At this moment, be ready to meet the Lord Jesus Christ. In, then in um, Isaiah 28, 21 and 22... Again, it talks about Gibeon in this. Now, the Lord had given me these scriptures um, back in 2019 and many times. I'm looking at these many dates um, in 2020. So it wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised when I was reminded of this. But in Isaiah 28, 21 and 22... It says, for the Lord shall rise up as in Mount Perizim. He shall be wroth as in the valley of Gibeon, that he may do his work, his strange work, and bring to pass his act, his strange act. Now, therefore, be ye not mockers, lest your bands be made strong. For I have heard from the Lord God, Lord God of hosts, a consumption even determined upon the whole earth. Something is about to happen. I know you can feel it too. We cannot have the signs all around us as it is. Lining up with Bible prophecy, God is proclaiming in his mercy to get the word out there. It doesn't even take faith to see Bible prophecy coming to pass right before our eyes. The heathen are even wondering and seeing 
It's just they haven't repented unto the Lord Jesus Christ. But that is what I want to share. I know it doesn't sound like anything new, but something is about to happen. A consumption upon the whole earth. I pray it is the rapture for those who are in Jesus Christ. But until then, we have got to remind everybody they are not promised tomorrow. They have to repent while it is today, now. You can look up the scriptures that talk about that. Um, but we know that God Almighty is in total control. As we look at Joshua chapter 9, the deception of the men that said that they were foreigners, but yet they were only like six miles away. And they had heard about Joshua's God, Lord God, and they were afraid. And so they deceived and said that they were foreigners. They came with um, moldy bread and dry bread, um, looking as though they were haggard and, and they purposely appeared like that to deceive Joshua. Joshua was deceived. He didn't seek God. He probably went by what he was hearing and seeing. And that jumped out at me. Guys, we have got to be alert. There is such great deception out there. You can't believe what you think's good or what you think's bad. You've got to be hearing the voice of God. You've got to be in God's word. You have to be in tune with his spirit or you will be deceived. It is dangerous. Spiritually. Eternally. And we have got to warn everyone. Repent now. While you have time. You are not promised tomorrow. None of us are promised tomorrow. The next moment. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. Look those scriptures up. See what the Lord speaks to your heart with it. Keep on fire and tell others to repent while they have, I was going to say breath, but they're not even promised. We do not know what that consumption of the whole earth is. Are we ready? We have to be ready now. Nothing I am saying is new. I know that. But I could not lay my head on my pillow tonight without getting on here and sharing it because we're not promised tomorrow. Father, I just pray that you would help each one of us to be right with you. Help us to shout it loud. Lord, help us to repent while we have time because time is winding down and you are trying to wake people up and get the word out there that we would repent while we are able. Oh, Father, may our heart beat to do your will. Take all fear away except for the fear of you. Open our eyes and heart up, Father, that we would see the deception around us, the lying men and women, ye being used by the wicked one. We cannot get through this life without holding your hand, Lord Jesus. You know how to get us through it. Dare we not think that we can do it on our own, for we can't. Oh, Father. Touch everyone that would be watching this. May they feel your presence. May the fear of you come upon us. May we be right with you this day because something is about to happen. May we be ready. In Jesus' holy name, name I pray, Father. Amen. God bless each and every one of you.